Now that the Xbox Series X is out in the wild and we are starting to see the fruit of the rebirth Xbox brand, it's time to look towards the future. And we already know it's going to be amazing. What's up dudes and dudettes, Cameron here, and before we get rolling, if you end up liking this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a freaking video. So the Xbox Series X and S is out now, and people all over the world have dove head first in the next gen, myself included, baby. And oh my lord, we console gamers have been missing out for years. This console is a PC-like experience, and it is magnificent. High resolutions create sharp, crisp images. High frames create incredible smoothness unlike ever before. These games look and feel amazing. Load times are a thing of the past. The graphic settings on these games is far higher and add ray tracing on top of that in some games and it's just freaking insane. The particles and just visual flair that this console produces is absolutely beautiful. And I'm in love. This generation is what last gen should have been. So yeah, the Xbox Series X is an amazing machine, but what makes this even better is what lies ahead. You see, what PlayStation fans need to understand is that we Xbox guys have an affection and more nostalgia towards Xbox the same way they do for PlayStation. We enjoy Xbox exclusives better the same way they enjoy PlayStation exclusives better. We Xbox dudes and dudettes, most of us, have been with Xbox since the beginning. We like the controller better, the UI better, and the games better. We have grown with Xbox over the years, so in 2013 when the Matrix era of Xbox nearly destroyed the Xbox brand, we Xbox fans were hurting through those years. We missed the Xbox we once knew with amazing games and all those times we had had with friends playing a great Halo game on the same couch. The Xbox brand we once loved was all but dead. But then enter Phil Spencer. Phil changed the game, literally. Xbox saw a full transformation from 2013 to now. They went from having the weakest console, no exclusive games, and having bad consumer policies to having the world's most powerful console, 23 studios to create exclusives, and being the most consumer-friendly brand on the market. This is what Xbox should have been in 2013. It was the next evolutionary step after the great performance of the Xbox 360. But we all know how that turned out. We have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. So after seven years of struggling and getting better and better day by day, Xbox is a new brand, a new beast under new leadership. The Xbox turnaround we have witnessed is nothing short of incredible. And now we see the Xbox community fired up and energized like never before. It's very clear that Xbox's golden years are straight ahead. I've been talking about the Series X for over a year now on my channel, even before I knew it was called the Series X. We knew this thing was going to be a monster and that it would create astonishing visuals with high resolution and high frame rates. But it goes beyond that. This console is the best Xbox that Microsoft has ever built, from the tower-like console to the new controller. The build quality on both of these is far beyond anything we've seen before from either Sony or Microsoft. The Series X is hefty and solid. No sharp plastic edges can be found on this console nor the controller. Whereas with my Xbox One Design Lab controller, the handles were notorious for not lining up correctly and having jagged edges all over them. So not only did Xbox give us the most powerful console this gen, but they stepped up the build quality as well. Something that actually shocked me a bit though was how small the console and this controller actually is. For months these YouTubers have been telling us how big the console was. So I guess I had something far bigger in mind. But when I opened the box, I was met with a sleek, simple, and smaller design than I imagined. The controller is actually a bit smaller as well, which at first I was a little worried about being that I have massive hands, 
but after a few hours with it in my hands, I can tell you that it feels really nice and is very comfortable. My final thoughts on this console and controller is that they are super well built, tight and compact, and comfortable as well. Also, the share button, the new D-pad, and the textured triggers are very much appreciated. I picked up Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dirt 5, and NBA 2K21 on day one. All of them look and feel amazing, but Valhalla is absolutely incredible. It's a beautiful game, even more so than 2018's Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but now it runs at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second, and good lord, I love it. I can't imagine what future titles will look like when we are past the cross-gen phase and on to the true next-gen exclusives. If cross-gen games can look this good now, wow, Fable will blow our pants off. Which brings me to my next topic. 2021 is going to most likely start with a Halo Infinite launch before June, in my opinion. And who knows what's coming in the fall of 2021. It could be any number of things. My fingers are crossed for Fable in 2021, but most people seem to think Hellblade 2 will be the big fall title. Either one is possible. We also have Starfield rumored for 2021, coming from Bethesda and most likely an Xbox exclusive. And this is what the future holds. Xbox has enough studios now to release three to four massive games a year. That's insanity. 23 studios with some having multiple teams working on multiple projects is going to create a flood of great first party exclusives for the Xbox ecosystem. The Xbox and the Xbox 360 in their days had great exclusive games. Those games are what made many people, like myself, into Xbox fans. The Xbox One era kind of left us out to dry with not many exclusives, and the ones we did have, like Halo 5, were hot garbage. Now yes, we had Gears, Forza, Ori and such, but it was far less than what we expected from Xbox. Well, welcome to next gen. Xbox Game Studios will be creating games faster than we can beat them, and with Xbox having more studios than ever, these devs are going to have plenty of time to build the best games possible. The more time spent making the game, the better it is, usually. So get ready, people. Within the next seven years, we will see Gears 6, Fable, Starfield, Fallout 5, Doom 3, Elder Scrolls 6, Avowed, State of Decay 3, Everwild, Forza Horizon 5, Forza Motorsport, The Initiative Secret Project, and many, many more from dozens of other studios. And not to mention, all those games are coming to Game Pass day one. Xbox came ready to play ball this gen. The dark era is over. This generation of Xbox is going to be the best in the history of gaming. The golden years are straight ahead. Well folks, that's about it for this video. I hope you liked it. I know it wasn't massive or anything groundbreaking here, but truthfully, I want to go play some Valhalla on my shiny Series X. So with that said, if you like this video, please smack that like button, make sure you are subscribed, and you hit the notification bell so you never miss a freaking video. I hope you are all safe, having fun gaming, and I hope you are having a great week. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter at GodsGeeksYT, that's GodsGeeksYT, and before I go, I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great week. Later guys. Look at that thing, it's so dang, I feel it.